The holy grail breakthrough that's needed is a, a rapid and completely reusable rocket system. So this has never been accomplished before. Um, and a lot of people, for the longest time, thought this was not possible. Now, with Falcon 9, uh, we've been able to show that uh, you, can have um, you can have reuse of a boost stage and reuse of a ferry. So with Falcon 9, we've de demonstrated a lot of reuse of the, the, the boost stage and of the fairing. Um, we, we've, we have uh, over 100 uh, re uh, reflights of the, the fairing over, it's, it's, uh, I mean, of, of the booster, and I'm not sure of the fairing number, but it's a lot. Um, and uh, and that, that's, a, that's a big step in the right direction. With Starship, we're aiming for full and rapid reusability. So, uh, You know, we obviously had need to accomplish that. That's not uh, <laughs> done yet, but, um, but but the success is one of the possible outcomes, uh, which I always think is uh, when embarking on a, an endeavor, success should be at least one of the possible outcomes. Um, and this for this design, I, that that is the case. Um, so the and we're aiming for uh, rapid reusability, uh, which is why the the booster is, is going to take off and then fly back to the launch tower and uh, aspirationally uh, get uh, land on the arms. The booster is capable of being uh, reused every hour. Um, so the, the, the propellant pumps are designed to fill the rocket in uh, about half an hour. So the, this really is designed for the rapid reusability. Um, so it, it, with, if you can do r roughly a, a million tons to Earth orbit, th that's comfortably over 100,000 tons to the surface of Mars, maybe 150,000 tons, depending on how good the landing system is. So <clears throat> now you can only go to Mars every two years. Uh, so uh, and, and I think maybe roughly you need about a million tons on Mars to have a, a self-sustaining city. Um, the, the critical threshold, I think, for Mars is to uh, have a city that is self-sustaining. Um, it's going to be incredibly difficult to make a self-sustaining city because if it's missing any ingredient, any ingredient at all, um, however minor that ingredient is, then if the ships from Earth stop coming for any reason, uh, the city will die out. So the, 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 the critical threshold to pass uh, one of the most important great filters for any species is to have, have the, the, the other planet no longer dependent on, on the original planet. So I don't know exactly what that tonnage is, but I suspect it is at least, um, if one tries to get the right order of magnitude, about a million tons. Um, hopefully it's not more than that. Um, Starship is capable of doing that. It's capable of, of, of getting, getting a million tons to the surface of Mars and creating a self-sustaining city. Um, and I think we should try to do that as soon as we can. Um, the window of opportunity may be open for a long time, and I hope it is, but it, it may also be open for a short time. And this is the first, this is the first point in the four and a half billion year history of Earth that it has been possible. I mean, let that sink in. I mean, if there's a sink, let it in. Um, <clears throat> still knocking at the door. I mean, it's a sentient sink. Let's face it, let it, I mean, it's, come in. Um, so, four and a half billion years, it's been a while. This is the first time it's been possible. We need to seize the opportunity and do it as quickly as possible. I mean, to be frank, civilization is feeling a little fragile these days. Um, and like I said, I'm an optimist, but I think we've got to protect the downside here and, and, and try to build that city on Mars as soon as possible and secure the future of life. Um, and it's going to be an incredibly exciting adventure.